And welcome back, this is Baller Scoopa with another StarCraft 2 commentary. It is getting late, and I am getting delirious. I am the Blue Terran in the East, up against a Red Link. Let me just slow this down. Let me pause it, in fact. Um, and <laughs> Red Ink, sorry, uh, the, the Protoss in the Red Protoss in the West. Uh, this is the reason I wanted to show you guys this game. Uh, really just bad manners coming off uh, the gate from Red Ink. Uh, do I really need to scout any Terran? All er any Terran do is MMN. Um, and really just, uh, this put me into a little uh, tizzy in the game. Uh, I Not too bad on uh, in terms of... Uh, Etiquette, uh, I, I don't like uh, too much trash talking, but, you know, he, he attacked me because I'm, I am going to go for MMM. So I said, all I've been getting from Toss is rushes. And he says, uh, <laughs> and guess what he does? He rushes. Uh, so he does come back with a touche. Um, I did go, yeah, got a little annoyed. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, Metalopolis. Um, I do love the look of pylons, by the way. A lot of dumbass toss things out. Z rush is still viable. Uh, yeah, I've been getting any Z rushes li late, um, lately. It's mostly uh, been the Dark Templars and the Zealot Stalker proxy pylon rush. Uh, I do love the look of the pylons. Oh, finally, he does get a good, a good game luck have fun, I guess. Um, I love the look of those pylons. Balance. They're just spinning. I was spinning free. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay. Back to sanity. So here is the proxy pylon rush that I was talking about. So I guess his early game was to to not to talk me out of the MMM build. Um, it doesn't work. I do go uh, for the MMM build. I try to talk him out of uh, the rush, uh, which uh, of course. Talks him, maybe talks him into a rush. Um, but with that proxy panel on there, um, I'm pretty sure that is exactly what he's going to be going for. I haven't seen the replay on this yet. So I, do, I don't know if he actually uses the warp gate. But considering that he's got the early gas, um, I do think that's what he's going for. He is uh, going for stalkers early on as well. Um, I, on the other hand... Uh, I'm getting ooh a factory. He he talked me out of my game. Um, that early nuisance did get into my head. I thought it looks like I I, I thought about going uh, something else than in MMM build um, because uh, because uh, I feared of getting him upset. I guess uh, just real bad uh, real bad karma coming from this game. Neither one of us come off as very good. But he is researching work gate, so I was right. He is going to be going for that proxy rush here. And really what that does is it doesn't give me the opportunity to train units while you're moving across the map. Let's say it takes 30 seconds uh, for uh, for that unit to get off uh, across the map. By that time, I could train a marine, a marauder, uh, not a reaper. Um, but a marine or a marauder from each of my barracks. Let's say I have three or four barracks um, With one of them has a reactor. Uh, that's four or five units uh, Probably uh, three marines and two marauders uh, Just wasted while you ran across the map this proxy pylon Warped them in right here, and there we go starting the warps um, Now we don't have to worry now he doesn't have to worry about uh any time lost while uh, his... Uh, and he does get an observer. I did not know that. Uh, he doesn't have to, to worry about the, the time lost uh, while he transfers uh, his his army over. I did get a siege tank. I don't have it sieged up. I should have it around here sieged up. There we go. As he's continually uh, pumping it into that proxy pylon. Um, He's getting five, no, nope, another pylon. He does have five warp gates. He has a robotics facility just for the observer. Just to check out what I'm doing. And yes, indeed, I'm going for MMM. <laughs> you didn't talk me out of it. You scared me off of it for a second, but I said, no, who the hell is this guy? I'm going for it. He's not going to talk me out of my build. 
and I didn't talk him out of his either. Uh, I wouldn't call it a rush, but that proxy pylon definitely qualifies it as a rush, even though um, this comes late in the game. Uh, most people would probably call it a timing attack. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, in my opinion, if, if you're sending in what you feel is the best army possible at the time that you make it, I consider that a rush. You know, so if you... I'm... Oh, he attacks when I go for the, the expansion here. Uh, does he see that? Um, doesn't look like he does. But he's clearly got enough stalkers here to wipe out my army. And there we go. And here's where the warp gate really comes into effect, is reinforcements are already on battle, uh, making uh, the defense almost worthless. The defensive advantage, home field advantage, is almost obliterated by that warp gate. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, warp gate, proxy pylon. And as he can clearly see, I've got nothing else coming. But now I'm pissed off. I don't want to let him just leave without putting some effort into it. I'm sorry, after uh, after uh, kind of bad-mouthing Terrans at the beginning, he's going to have to work for this victory, even though he's already earned it. Uh, bad Micro, though. Um, you know, he's not the strongest Protoss player. I'm not saying that. Uh, you know, I'm not mad at him anymore. Uh, but, you know, a little bit of bad Micro, but it's, it's late in the game for the uh, Micro. Uh, so we do end up seeing seven... Uh, gateways uh, with a proxy pylon. Really just bad manners uh, from him early. Uh, I do GG. I, I don't hold it personally. Um, I did go for the, the missile turrets all over uh, the map. He did kill one up here too. Um, but there you go. Uh, bad play on my part. Uh, let, the, let the guys uh, get the psychological advantage for me and he can easily win with 15 stalkers left uh two more warped in and he's going for an expansion uh so i mean he's a good player um he, he did a great move just wasn't ready for it um due to bad bad mechanics on my part and he even got the observer i mean he completely dominated me in this game uh i don't want to linger too much on it, but I do think it is because of uh, because of that early taunting that he did. But, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.